Hi, welcome back to Old Fashioned Ways. I just wanted to do a quick Halloween drink special. So this one can be short and sweet. Sorry, no cocktail quiz time. Just quick and sweet cocktails for the Halloween season. So my first one is gonna be a zombie riff and it's gonna be an, an riff on a zombie and a riff on an old fashioned. And to do that, I need some brains today, right? So I have HRH in the house. And who else better to summon? Yeah. <laughs> so this first one's gonna be interesting, okay? All right, Sorry. Brainiac. <laughs> All right, Brainiac. So this first one is called a zombie brain snack, right? So there's a lot of different ways to make this. There's, you can use peach knob, you can use a lot. It's a, it's kind of a layer drink that looks like a brain inside, but it's a shot. So nice. we got two shot glasses right nice. here. Nice, okay. Right? All right. So first let's add some liquor. So we needed something that was zombie and what more than the Walking Dead. So <laughs> as you, it's all frozen. I had this in the freezer for quite a while. Now the Walking Dead, I actually want. I got this last year, so it's actually been in the freezer for a year. Oh wow! Last year when I bought it, I was planning to make a drink, this drink, and I didn't get to. This life was too busy, <laughs> and we didn't get it. So I'm glad you're here to share this with me. Well, it's kind of spooky with your handprint on the side. It, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Looks like maybe a ghost grabbed yeah. it, but it's a zombie drink, not a ghost drink. So. Woo! Hey, get safe, Fast get hands. safe. But yeah, look, the does look kind of free yeah. with my handprints there. You know, let's just put something there. Woo! Scary. <laughs> what do we have to do to have an old fashioned? Spirits, sugar, bitters, right? To make this drink, it really counts on the sugar. So it's going to be a sweet drink. Okay, perfect. So like we're sweet. just going to add a little bit of this to the bottom so we get our spirit. But the thing is, if we add too much of this, it will dilute our, our sweetness too much and you won't be able to actually get it to do what we want it to do, right? But with all drinks, they require some bitters. So this one's a riff, so a lot of them use peach and all this. I decided that a zombie is gonna like a chocolate mint flavor. Okay. All right, so we're gonna use chocolate, we're gonna use mint on top of this. So let's go with two dashes of our mint bitters. Look at that, turning the green already. Very pretty. And then, we're also going to add a dash of chocolate bitters. About now, like, this, huh? Oh, I was like, it's like putting a spell on. You. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Oops. So it's not like this is going to add that much of those chocolate in that mint. The mint actually does, but not the chocolate, right? So now what we need to do, we need to add some of this. So this is where we're making it the sweeter, that thickness, right? And so we're going to add some of this mint green here. And this is what's important to make it thick, thick, thick so that this actually works, but we don't want to over mint it because that's just going to be a lot of mint. Yeah, a little bit more. Next, we're going to add some chocolate flavor and we're going to put this over the top. So we're almost going to fill it up with this. And that just lightens up so you can actually see shot. through it. Yes. <laughs> It is. Wowzers. Yeah. We don't have Nana here. We're okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is where, and, and the reason that this is cold, I forgot to mention, it says if you make the whiskey cold, it actually works better to do what it's supposed to be doing, right? Mm -hmm. So the next thing that I forgot, which I grabbed, they had this during the season, Bailey's oh, chocolate. Nice. So a lot of times this just uses regular Bailey's. If I'm trying to make a mint chocolate, <laughs> why not use a Bailey's chocolate, right? I'm going to have to figure out more drinks to do this because this won't last a year. Yeah. <laughs> so when we do this on here, oh, actually, we're supposed to, we're supposed to drew it, put it right over the top with this. And I'm not very good at this part of stuff, so let's see if this works. Come on. There it is. And just want it to kind of float on top, right? It's a little tricky, a little tricky, but... So those are most of the ingredients. Now there's just one more, one more ingredient, and that's actually grenadine. So I'm using actually a really good one. Our buddy makes this, Savage Kitchen makes some grenadine, and this is, look how thick that is. Look how oh, it's thick. just thick. And <laughs> if you ever wanna make a Shirley Temple, you, your mom and sister love the Shirley Temple with this. But what you're supposed to do is just put drops of this, and what it's gonna do is pull some of this down and make it supposedly look like a brain. So let's see. Can we get that to go? Oh, 
See that? Oh, that's cool. So, and that's what it's doing. It's pulling it down into that sugar and nice. make it look more like a brain there. And there you go. The zombie brain snack, <laughs> old fashioned shot. Yes. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Are you? Yes, I also like chocolate and mint. So true. <laughs> that is so true. So here you go. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, actually, that's really good. Yeah, and finish it. I did half. That is really good, though. Yeah, that is really good. I was a little worried about that one. <laughs> but you get the chocolate, you get the mint. That chocolate just overpowers it. I honestly think with this, we could possibly add a little bit more whiskey in that. It's very nice. Very nice. Yeah. So that's our first one. Let me mm -hmm. get this up for the second one. <laughs> 